Gosh. Marie, thank you so much for giving us just a couple of moments of your time. Congratulations on you both being m new parents. Yes, thank you. It's very exciting. It's our second total fall now, so it's really good. I ordered a black one and that's what we got, so it's great. Now I've got to ask Marie, you even give her the green parts? Yes, the green parts are very important because she doesn't go outside. Every year when spring comes along and the weather gets better I try to integrate her into the paddock and every time I do it I end up with an injured horse. This year she's smashed her knee on the fence so she was really nearly not here but it's oh, all been checked and we're all good to go again but um, I try really hard to get her out in the paddock but it, it never works. Doesn't she's um, always injuring herself so instead we, um, we hand pick her grass. She has carrots in the carrots with the green bits on them in the evening for dinner and in, in the morning she has um, a, a bucket, a full bucket of grass that we oh, hand pick. Absolutely wonderful. Now Marie, you've been around the traps for a very, very long time. No, no, <laughs> I was more saying, so how many nationals do you think you've been to? Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah, wow, ten. congratulations, your tenth anniversary. We did the first one in 2002, yeah, so that was our first one because I was a hacky before that. A so. very, very, very successful yeah. show. How many yeah. Gary Owen win winners? Two. We won two Gary Owens and um, we went champion hack at Sydney Royal in 2002 and then a week later I did my first CDI and it was the end of hacking and on to dressage we go. And Marie, please, your plans with Diamantina. I mean, she's just been such a big hit since you did your first Grand Prix. Was it at the Sydney CDI? Um, yeah, she did her first Grand Prix at the Bonio, oh, the Bonio one. Sorry. Yep, um, but that was a, a national there. Hello. And then, yes, um, then up here for the CDI. And no, she's amazing. We've, um, we've at last got Piaf now, so we're ready. We're ready to go. So I hope she, hope she does it tomorrow when it counts. Well, everyone is um, following you too with very, very much interest and it's been a very, very um, quick transition. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, and getting up into the, just into Grand Prix because you've only had her for how many years? Um, no, well, I've had her since she was four. Yeah, so I've had her since she was a four-year-old and she's ten now, so... It might seem quick to you. It doesn't seem so quick to me. <laughs> and Marie, I've got to ask you tips for being at an event like this. Do you have a particular routine that you go by or are you superstitious in any way? Um, I try to keep them in exactly the same routine that they're in at home, which is not always so easy because arena familiarisation ch times change and stuff like that. But we try really hard to keep them in exactly the same routine. Um, as they're in at home, the same, they get fed at the same time, they go, um, they get the same warm up, the same warm down, the same, try and do everything exactly the same. That's yeah. amazing. And then what do you do yourself? Do you have a particular pair of undies that you like to wear or a particular wear of, way of how you do your hair? Uh, no, it's the same thing. It's just a r routine that I've been doing the whole time. Um, I, I guess the big the big thing is to not let anything, or to try not to let anything go wrong. Um, yes, most yeah, I agree most dressage that. riders are like control freaks, so you have like a way you want to do things, and if that gets knocked out of kilter, then it can knock your whole mojo about. So just try to make everything be really well prepared and that everything just goes in the hello. right order. Hello, hello. And Marie, your freestyle music, is that something that you do yourself? She likes the mic. <laughs> um, no, Melissa Wittes from Fortissimo Freestyles. She does it for me. Uh, we have a new freestyle for this one, but with the same music. Oh, so this just, is exciting. Just change the chore around, change the pattern a little bit. Um, as she gets older and can do a few more things, we have been able to add a few, a few more, more things. Um, but it's the same music, just in a different order. And Marie, is she going to have a baby, do you think, next year? Are you going to do another embryo I, I transfer? Yeah, I hope so. She's um, booked to go in after the DF in December, and this year we're trying with Negro. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, if we could have a little diamond of Allegro, that would be good. That would be <laughs> incredible. And is this her first fall or a second fall? Her second. We, have a, we had a bay filly last year from Totalus. Oh, and what did you call her? Uh, total Hit. Oh, I like that. Her name's Total Hit, and this one is the second one, also from Totalus. And it ha we haven't got a name. We're thinking Black Diamond, but but we're not sure yet. Well, how exciting to have two fillies and two successfully born. That's just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh, you Good are freedom. absolute gorgeous. Hello. <laughs>
she's pretending, you know. Yeah, I think so. She's normally really aloof. <laughs> we'll see how you go on Saturday night when there's a little bit more of a crowd and see whether or not we still like you. She's a bit of a camera hog, I think. <laughs> well, Marie, thank you so much for just giving us a couple of moments of your time and really, really good luck with yep. this weekend. Great, thank you. And congratulations for being a mum times two. Yes.